Hello Code Gurus, welcome back and in this video tutorial we are going to see on how to create continuous deployment pipelines using AWS Amplifier Console. So for creating a continuous pipeline, so let's proceed by logging into our AWS console. So once you have successfully logged into your AWS console, go to your Find Services search tab and type AWS Amplify. So once you click on that, you will be directed to your Amplify screen. So if you are creating your apps for the first time, this is the welcome screen which you see. Otherwise, if you have any existing applications, you would already see them over here. So now if you see over here, this screen has two get start buttons. So which start button sh which uh, we should click? So on the left hand side is the Amplify framework. So once you click on that, it will navigate you to a website where your Amplifier framework is available. So what is this Amplifier framework? It is a collection of CLI tools and as well as client libraries. So for creating our continuous deployment pipelines, we don't need that. So let's go back to our AWS console and just click on get started button under the deploy section. So just click on that. So the first screen which you see over here is the type of or the different uh, service providers which are supported by your AWS Amplify console. So here you can see four different types of uh, service providers are supported like GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab and AWS Code Commit. So depending upon your repository service provider, choose appropriate service. So now, in our video tutorial, we are using Bitbucket as our repository service provider, so have selected that one. So once you have selected your Bitbucket, just click on Next. So you will be redirected to your service provider website to provide, to provide your authorization privileges to your AWS Amplifier Console. So just click on grant access so it says now the next second screen inside your amplifier console says that you have successfully authorized your source repository so the next important thing is which you need to test uh, which you need to do over here is select which repository you want to deploy as a part of your this continuous delivery pipelines so here i'm choosing our repository as code guru and you will be even asked to choose which branch. So as of now, we don't have anything in our master branch except readme document. So whatever the current code which is there, it's there in our develop branch. So I'm choosing that branch. Next, click on next. So here it would take some time. So just please don't click next uh, for a couple of times. Otherwise you will miss the screen. So here it will ask, different uh, configurations required for your build. So first thing is, what is the application name you want to provide? So I'm happy with the name Code Guru. And the next thing is, would you like to create a different environment for your front-end and back-end resources? If you choose, uh, if it, you have two different options, you can choose the existing environment, which we have created earlier, or you can go ahead and create a new environment too. So here in this video tutorial, I would like to create a new environment. So just click on create new environment. So the next thing is you need to provide what is the name of that environment. So in our case, I'll just go ahead and give it as test. Now, if you have, uh, if your application is dependent on any AWS service, the next important thing which you need to do is you need to create a role. So which act which gives permissions to your AWS Amplifier Console. So here, how do we create the roles? If you already have one, you can choose that. But here we don't have anything. So we will first go ahead and create it. So just click on create new role. Again, you will be redirected to, to a separate screen. It's IAM screen where it will just ask, okay, so it has a pre-baked uh, privilege over here. Just select that and just click on next, give permissions. 
and just click on yeah it needs administrative privileges because it's going to create your back-end resources as well as your front-end resources so just click on next and click on next and finally just say create role so once your role is successfully created go back to your console just try to refresh it over here by clicking this refresh button over here now you could see your role which you have created so select that role so this is your auto generated uh, I can say it's like deployment script or build script so what Amplify console does is it reads your project if it is configured with your AWS CLI it will automatically give you all the steps which are required for building and as well as for deploying your application into a environment so we are happy with that so here you can see already it has identified which framework you were using so here we were used since we are creating a Vue.js application so it has even identified that oh you have you are using Vue hyphen amplifier framework so the next important thing is if you if you want to provide any environment variables you can just go ahead and provide it over here as of now we don't have it maybe in our future video tutorials we would come back and provide that if needed so we will just simply skip that environment variables for now so what we have done on this third screen is we have provided our app name next we said we want to create a new environment rather than deploying into the existing environment because the existing environment is a dev environment which is generally used by the developer when he is developing a feature so here this continuous pipeline I wanted to deploy the completed feature into some finalized environment which is available for my testers so that is the reason why I'm creating a separate test environment so the next thing is we have created our uh, service role over here and we have chosen that role and here it has created a auto generated script for us which we are happy with it so now finally just click on next so it will just give you a summary what you are doing so here is your source repository here is the branch and here is the repository which you have chosen from that service provider and this is the target environment where this pipeline is going to deploy continuously and then click on save and deploy so it takes a couple of minutes what in the behind the scenes it does is it creates a pipeline for us so now this pipeline has four different steps you can see first is your provisioning step where it provisions all your backend resources once it is able to do that then it will go connect to your github repository clone that repository in the pipeline and build it once it successfully built it it will go ahead and deploy it into the environment which you have chosen and finally it even has a fourth step called verify where it will just go ahead and access your website and give you the feedback like whether it was successfully able to verify it or not so give it a couple of minutes or seconds depending upon your application all right then so here we could see that all four stages have successfully passed so here you can just click this link and access your deployed application so just give it a second so here you can see it has successfully built your application and deployed into your test environment now we will go ahead and do some code changes on our source repository and verify whether our continuous delivery pipeline is able to identify our changes and then deploy it into our a new created test environment right then what I'll do is I'll just open my project inside our VS code so now what we will do is we'll just do a small minor change like changing some header inside our website and let's see whether it is whether our continuous pipeline was able to pick that change and deploy it or not so here what I'll do is uh, it says welcome to Vue.js application so here I'll just say deployed using AWS Amplifier console so now what I'll do is I say I'll save this change and push this change to our 
uh, source code repository. So here I'll just say git add and next say git commit. So here I'll just say verify AWS amplify continuous deployment pipeline. So now what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and push these changes into my source code repository. Once it has been successfully pushed, so go, let's go back to our AWS console and have a look. So now here you can immediately see that your continuous delivery pipeline or deployment pipeline has identified your changes and it started provisioning your environment for building your application. Once it successfully provisions your environment, it will build and then deploy and then finally it verifies. So give it a couple of minutes. All right, so it has successfully built and deployed our application. Let's go to our previous link and just try to refresh it. So now here you can see it has picked up our changes and deployed into the same environment because the reason why I'm saying same environment because your URL has not changed. So with this, we have successfully completed our video tutorial on how to create continuous deployment pipelines using AWS Amplifier Console. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. And subscribe to our channel over here by clicking our channel icon and you can view all the playlists related to this web series over here. Thank you.